All right, and welcome back. Well, if disaster strikes, you might not have access to the basic necessities like food, water, electricity. So it's a good idea to put together a survival kit because you probably won't have much time. For sure. And today we're going to tell you what you should pack. Mm -hmm. Todd Pritchard is with Ready Wisconsin. It's an organization with a mission to make sure that you're prepared when bad things happen. Great to see hey guys. you again. Yeah. Good to be here. Yeah, I love this. Let's start with just your basic disaster supplies. So this is a list of just five things. The first thing is water. So a gallon of water per person per day for at least three days right. for drinking and sanitation. So if you've got a family of five, let's just say, it's and you need a gallon per person for three days, that's 15 gallons, right? It's it's a lot of water. So, you know, everyone should use these as guidelines. Okay. You know? So if you can have some water in your house, because you never know, you may have to hunker down because of a tornado goes through your neighborhood and you're unable to get in or out for a while, you lose water, you know, something happens. You know, we just got done with the winter you know, season where we were all hunkered down in our homes for a couple of days. So if you can have some water in case you lose that, um, you know, that, that supply, that's great. And of course, for, you know, for some basic, you know, sanitary use, you know, that kind of thing. And remember, your hot mm -hmm. water heater has a lot of water in it, right? Oh, yeah. Right? So you don't have to have it all stored. You can always tap into that. You know, the hot water heater, mm -hmm. you know, has that drain usually oh. at the bottom of it. So you can use some okay. of that water. It's it's perfectly fine. It won't be hot, probably. You might have yeah. it, washed your power or something. But it, that's got quite a bit of water in it, And you could drink too. that. Absolutely. You yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. And I've seen before. I, I love like doomsday preppers and things like that. I told Molly, <laughs> I'm like a little obsessive about some of it. But like you can get even those tablets to put in water that can purify water. Sure. Absolutely. You know? Right. If if you're in a situation where you're you're not getting uh, clean water, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. The second thing is food. You need at least a three day supply of non perishable food. Yeah. And and we always tell folks, you know, have put that food together like in a in a big you know one of those big Tupperware containers yeah. or a big yeah. box or something like that. And make sure you have that because, you know, we all think, oh, I've got that in my pantry or whatever. And then you open it up, you go, oh, no, I guess I don't have that. <laughs> right. So have it set aside, you know, maybe put it in your basement or a safe place that you can get access to it. Some people put it underneath their bed, you know, so mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. it's somewhere you can get to it and, you know, and go through it every once in a while, you know, use the supply so they don't expire when and use the, you know, the can of beans or whatever you got in there and then, you know, resupply. But having that food, you know, there may be days where you're not able to, you know, get in, get to uh, any kind of food supplies. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's talk about. It. I think this is really important. A battery powered or hand crank radio. The one we have here is it both? Is it both battery as well as hand it crank? It is. It okay, is. so that's this right here. And what's really cool about this is it also has a cell phone charger yep. in, in the back of it. Right. Let's see, I should turn it that way. There maybe? you go. Yep. Okay. So yep. there's that, that, that just charger. Flips oh, down. now we got to go this way. Okay. Yeah, that just flips down, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can um, you can get to the charger. Oh, no, okay. Of course, I can't see it. There we go. Um, right there. Okay. Yep. And so the great thing about this is it's it's a multiple multi-purpose tool, right? Okay. It has the charger in the back. It's okay. got um, it's got a crank. So when you're starting running out of power. Mm -hmm. You just okay. crank it up. Gives it's, the kids something to do, right, too. Right, exactly. <laughs> right, exactly. It's got a light, right? Okay. And a, like a little lantern kind That's of thing. That's cool. And it's got AM, FM radio, and it's got a weather radio built into it. Whoa, well, because that's, that's the other critical. thing is the, yeah. the weather radio part, the NOAA weather radio. So that's built into that. That's built into that. And what yep. does something like that cost? So that's only about 25 bucks. Okay. Yeah. That's very worth it. Yeah, very inexpensive. You can pick those up at, you know, your kind of hardware stores online. You can mm -hmm. buy them. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, the price of those items have really come down, and, and that's something that's really important to talk about because for, for some people might be listening to this and go, "Oh, I've got to buy all this stuff." Well, a lot of it is things are, are items you already have, or items mm -hmm. that are very low cost. So you know, as you you know, maybe you can put together a kit over a period of you know a couple of months. You don't have to go out and you know do it right now. Pick up these items as you go along, kind of add to your collection. Mm -hmm. A flashlight is also on that list. Yeah, and and having a flashlight, obviously, you get into so many situations where you you may need uh, you know a light source, and and I always encourage folks to have like a, a kit for your home and a and a go uh, uh, a go kit. Yeah. And and these are some of the items that I have in my go kit. Like uh, we've got a little uh, first aid kit, flashlight, um, hand warmers, emergency blanket, some food. Hmm. You know, have a little bottle of water. How small these yeah, are. that's what yeah. I was just gonna say. This emergency blanket in particular. Oh, sorry, Tiff. It's like a, it's as big as a pack of tissues. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Turn it around. It's like a silver. It's like um. 
Yeah, it's like a mylar thing. It's like a camping oh, blanket. Oh, okay. Right? So it's just going to keep in your, your body heat. Okay. It's going to be warm and cozy, unfortunately, but it's right. going to keep in that body heat. Okay. And you're right. Looking for things that are small, and then the things that people always forget, uh, they start with P, pets mm -hmm. and pills. Yep. We forget that pets are so important. We just had the pugs on, right? Having emergency supplies for our pets because we may need to, if something happens, you may get a knock on your door and you're being told you got to evacuate right now. Yeah. And you say to the guy, what do you mean right now? He says, right now, this second. Well, you can then grab your kit, have it ready to go, and you're, you're set. Uh, pills, you know, any kind of medications. Have a little supply of your medications in your go kit because... If you have to evacuate, you may not be able to get to a pharmacy for, for days. Contacts, glasses, mm -hmm. supplies yep. for those Absolutely. things. Absolutely. We've got a whole list of ideas on our website at readywisconsin.wi.gov uh, uh, or just mm -hmm. Google us at Ready Wisconsin. Yeah, because yeah. I want to say just a few things that might surprise people that are on the list of a first aid kit and additional supplies. Mm -hmm. So things like a whistle to signal mm -hmm. help, um, a dust uh, mask yes. to help filter contaminated air if mm -hmm. that's a problem. Uh, moist towelettes, garbage bags, things that if you need to take care of the personal situations. Right. Um, tools maybe like a wrench or pliers, mm -hmm. a, a can opener if that's how you feed your pet. A manual can opener. Manual, right? Right. manual right. can opener. One, right. Yeah, supplies for unique needs, and that would be any medical situation that you have if you Absolutely. need. You've got Wine diabetes, <laughs> a corkscrew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But prescription medication, infant formula. Yeah. Diapers, um, the pet food, important family documents, maybe making mm -hmm. copies of those, emergency reference material, sleeping bag, you mentioned the warm blanket, mm -hmm. um, additional clothing too if you live in a right. cold climate. Right, and, and this is this thing where it, it, it may, it can be used for many things. It doesn't have to be like a major crisis. For example, I got a call one night, my mom had fallen down the steps and I had to get to Wisconsin Rapids from Madison now. I had to go and help. I didn't have to spend a half an hour trying to get stuff together. I literally grabbed my go bag. And I had clothes. I had medication. Yeah. I had, and I just ran out the door. So it can come in handy for a lot of different purposes. And, and we teach That's these kind of yeah, we teach these skills to kids uh, too. We we have a program called STEP, Student Tools for Emergency Planning. Mm -hmm. There are 8,000 kids in Wisconsin this year learning how to get ready for emergencies. And each of the kids get one of these starter emergency kits. Right? It's got a flashlight. Uh, one of those blankets in it, mm -hmm. and awesome. a first aid kit. And yeah, it, it's a great program. It's totally free, mm -hmm. and if schools are interested, they can always contact me for next year, or if there are summer school classes that are going on, we still have uh, kits available. Uh, but it's a great program, and it teaches kids the basics of what they need and how to plan. And you know, those kids, they take ownership of the program, mm -hmm. and they teach their parents, you know, That's we've got so many other bring things. Bring it home. Right, bring it home. There's so many things that we have to do as adults, they get it as kids, and they help us learn. It's awesome. Here's the yeah. information for Ready Wisconsin. You can contact them at 608-242-3324 so that you can be more ready. ReadyWisconsin.wi.gov is the website.